Hi, I'm Lorna Slater. Of the four pillars of the Green Movement, local or grassroots democracy is perhaps the hardest to understand why it is so important. However bad capitalist democracies have been for the environment, authoritarian centralized regimes have been much, much worse. The former Soviet countries and China, where more than a million people per year die of air pollution, are examples of this. Even in the UK, we've had the central government, national government, overriding local councils on the matter of fracking. The local people don't want it, but the central government is forcing it on them. Communities need to be able to have a say in how the land around them and the resources such as seafront, woodland and wind energy are used and how the benefits of these things are shared. When people are allowed a say in what happens in their neighborhood, they have a tendency to make more sustainable and fairer decisions. It is easy to be unfair to someone who you'll never meet. Much more difficult when your kids go to the same schools and you shop in the same shops. People can see the benefits of clean air, clean water, wildlife and greenery in their communities, but they won't do anything if they feel powerless. For grassroots democracy to work, People need to be engaged in politics to understand how it affects them and they need to be given tools that can actually make a difference. Governments love merging things and centralizing things in the name of efficiency, which results in decisions being made that ignore the needs of local people. Local democracy is something we have to be constantly vigilant about and fight for. People disengage with politics when it seems to them that it is being done to them from a great distance. We should all have a voice in how our communities are run and we should be listened to. That is why local democracy is so important.